I was talking to one of my clients today and the concept of self-compassion came about in our session. Self-compassion, it's the building block of making ourselves whatever we want to be in this life. And in order for us to be our best self, self-compassion is a must. Keep in mind that self-compassion, sometimes we get it mixed up with self-love and self-acceptance, but it's completely different in a couple of areas. Self-compassion means accepting your own flaws and understanding that at times we're not 100%. And when we make mistakes, it's okay to make those mistakes. This was just the gist of self-compassion. The thing that we forget and we neglect to recognize is that we are entitled to a couple of things. And at times it may sound selfish, but the best way to be yourself sometimes involves you being selfish about you. Giving yourself the time, the attention, the care, the passion that you simply deserve because we forget to do that. I know I forget to do that at times. I try to be there for someone else. I try to be there for other people, forgetting about what is it that is important to me and how is it that I can help myself be my best self. And when I do that over time, over time, it just builds up, builds up to a point that I forget about my own self and I put myself into this pedestal of expecting me to be 100% at all times. And when something doesn't go as planned, oh dear, that's just a recipe for a disaster. Because then I'm gonna start criticizing myself, telling myself how I should have been, how I could have been, and how I would like to be in future. With the concept of self-compassion though, we allow ourselves to make those mistakes because we understand what is it that we're going through. We understand our goal, we understand our habit, we understand our patterns, and we understand that the steps that we make at times doesn't align. And when it doesn't align, things happen. And things happen for everyone. Everyone at one point in their life, they made a mistake. And it's okay to make those mistakes. That's the thing that we have to remind ourselves for. That's the thing that I have to push myself to recognize every step of the way as I'm growing, as I'm developing, as I'm creating this universe for myself, is that that universe will have its flaws. But the thing is that sometimes we neglect those flaws and they just add up, add up, add up to a point that the whole building block that we have built for ourselves is built upon false self-belief, false pretend, and just imaginary expectation that are unrealistic to anyone because we're trying to be someone that we're not. We're trying to create that persona for ourselves that is absolutely unrealistic. So what are the things that we need to do? The first thing is to understand what is it that we're trying to get? What is my main goal? What is it that I really, really want in this life? It's important for us to break our goals down and focus about the things that are happening at this moment. Right now, my goal is to go to school. And that going to school, that's the thing that I need to remember. Furthermore, I need to understand that by me going to school, there will be times that things will not happen the way that they're supposed to happen. And when those things get out of balance, reminding myself that it's okay, that I'm protected. I'm protected from my own judgment. I'm protected from my own doubt because I anticipate things not being 100% at all times. Simply by that understanding, you create an environment for yourself that allow you to flourish, that allow you for you to express yourself freely without any judgment. Think about it this way. Imagine, and this is the example that I use for majority of my clients. Imagine that uh, you're taking a class and I'm your instructor. The first day that I enter the class, I make an announcement, and this is what I say. I say, welcome all students to my course. In this class, there will be no presentation. There will be no books. There is no handouts. There is no PDF. There is no PowerPoint. 
there is no slides, there is no material whatsoever. Also in my class, there is no note taking, there is no sound recording, there is no videotaping, there is nothing. Likewise, in this class, I will not take an exam from you guys. No midterm, no final, no quiz, no nothing. There is no homework, there is no takeouts, there is no extra credit. But here's a trick. The only thing that would define your grade that if you pass or if you fail is a final that I will take from you. Now that final exam or quiz is combined of one single question. And that one single question, if you get it all right, you will pass. But if you get just a bit of it, just a tiny bit of it wrong, you will fail my course. How would you feel about this class? I'm sure if you were in that class, you would raise your hand up and say, what is going on? You will probably drop my class and take another course, most definitely. This is unrealistic, this doesn't happen. In reality, when you take a course, there are a lot of materials, there are a lot of resources, there is a lot of quiz, homeworks, takeouts, exams. And at the end of the semester, sometimes some professors, they even average your grade. Because here's the thing, everybody knows that no one's perfect. We all make mistakes. We all have things that might happen. It's not about just one thing that defines you as good or bad. It's an accumulative of actions that you take throughout the course of your journey of achieving your goal that defines if you are successful or not. So if the school system implements this perspective in us, how come we ourselves are so judgmental of us making one single mistake. But in reality, I have to tell myself, no, it's okay, you made a mistake, keep it on, keep going, push yourself, take one more step. You failed on something, okay, instead of grieving over it, identify what was the mistake, what went wrong, and how can I prevent the thing that went wrong from not happening again. Growth doesn't mean just going up, up, up. Because if you go up straight, smallest movement to your left or right is gonna let your collapse. But if you go one step at a time, you know, you're building yourself up. So in case you even make a mistake right at the end, you're now aware of how you need to take care of yourself. And you can prevent a catastrophe from happening. That's the goal in life. That's what matters. And that's what you need to focus on. Because that, my dear, is the key to your success, is the key to your happiness, and it's the key to your self-acceptance, self-compassion, and self-love. Because the only time that I'm okay with me is the time that I accept me, that I understand me. Think about all of those phones that we have. Nowadays, all those apps, they have filters. They don't show you. They show a pretend. They show a false image of you. And sometimes with those images, we expect us to be that. And when we see ourselves in the mirror, we always judge ourselves. And sometimes we need to take our own picture, look at our flaws, and love every aspect of it. Because those flaws, those are the things that make you who you are. Not being perfect. If you're perfect on everything, that's boring. There is no challenge to it. But if you have flaws, that's what makes you interesting. That's what makes you special. Because now you are unique. You're good at some stuff, you're bad at something else. And now when you're in a relationship, your partner is also as good at something, not good at something else. And together, you guys can work on being your best self, helping each other, because now you can identify what is it that you need to grow? What is it that you need support with? What is it that you need to develop? So think about this, take a moment. And for those of you who stayed to the end of this video, let me know what is your thought on self-compassion now? 
write it down in the comment. And as always, I appreciate you guys for stopping by, listening to the words that I have to say. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. But remember, self-compassion is the must and the most important step into your journey of becoming your best self.